Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a master closet deep clean and organize. If you haven't seen the video before this one, I just posted it a few days ago. That one details my five tips and tricks to get my closet clean and organized. What I do to the clutter, just the, pro the things that I live by to keep my closet pretty clean and organized. Right now, it's kind of in a state that I don't like it to be. I did start my spring cleaning series, but I never got to my closet because the world, everything happened. And um, me and the kids were stuck at home, so I never got to cleaning and organizing my closet. So finally, I'm getting around to doing it. I'm a couple months late, but it's never too late. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I put into place all of my tips and tricks and let's do an overview first. I'll show you what we're working with and how it's gonna look afterwards. I am not going to purchase any new items. Um, I'm just gonna use what I have already. I do wanna get new bins, especially these back ones that my husband uses, um, cause his are kind of um, worn, if you would say. But I'm gonna wait till the stores open back up and our stores aren't quite open back up yet. And um, I just wanted to see them and to feel them and to see the sturdiness. That's why I'm not gonna order offline. The bins that we're currently using are the ones from the Dollar Tree. And we've actually had them for a few years. So they've held up pretty good. The tags that you see on all of them are like from Michael's. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. First, let me show you everything that we're working on. First, we're gonna start with my husband's area. I'm gonna take everything down off of this top shelf. Anything that's kind of like balled up and not folded, I don't know if it's clean or dirty, so I'm just gonna put that in the hamper. But all of these bins I'm gonna take down. I'm gonna go through each one. Like I said, if anything's balled up, it's going to be put in the hamper because I don't know if it's clean. And then I'm gonna roll all of our stuff. If you've seen my laundry cleaning routine, I tell you how I roll everything because down for my three-year-old, my six-year-old, and me and my husband, everybody can roll, so we roll everything. So I'm just go going through each of his um, little buckets and I'm rolling everything. Um, I would love to get, I'm going to get more sturdier buckets, but I'm waiting till all the stores open so I can shop around and feel them and see how good they are. My husband pulls them down Mine, as you can see, are in much better shape, but he like pulls them down so they get all like distorted and um, just kind of bent up. So I am in the market for some sturdier ones for his side of the closet. After I have everything rolled, I am going to um, put it back in its correct bin. I tried to reposition the tags. I was like, oh, let me reposition them on this side since it's not all bent up, but he's gonna, by pulling it down, it's gonna break off. So I wind up later on, you'll see in the video, I put it back. flip the lid the signs to this side because that sign was kind of worn so he has his pj shirts there this is see i have dresser drawers for this stuff and he doesn't so he has his um this is his workout shirts these are like baseball pants um and like a thick pair of sweatpants so like baseball stuff here um, this is his PJ pants and shorts. This is more PJ pants and shorts. Maybe I'm going to roll those and put them in there. And then that's just like regular nicer shirts. Look how dirty my floor is. 
And then it's just like fuzzballs and stuff. It's not like gross dirt. So don't mind the clothes that are on here. And then this is um, his, all of his shorts. And then those don't even go there. Those are my son's. So, well, the bright colored one is like a PJ shirt for my son. And then that is, my husband was in the Coast Guard. So that is my Coast Guard t-shirt. Like one of his old t-shirts that I wear for bedtime. So I need to put that in my drawer. But... Everything looks much better. So I'm gonna put these up. So yes, guys, now I am putting everything back into the closet. I'm trying to put it back so it makes sense. I put the baseball stuff in the corner. Um, he has these PJ shorts or like lounge shorts. And I'm, I put those on the other end and then I tried to move around the baskets so that they made sense. Like PJ shirts and the PJ shorts, that kind of stuff. Um, you're going to see that I wind up flipping them around because I was like, if he goes to lift them, because he just bends them down and grabs something out of it. If he does that, then he's going to break these little um, clips. So I put them back and then as soon as the stores and everything open back up, I will shop around and get some better bins that are just much more sturdier. But for a dollar, these bins have held out well since we've had them a couple of years. Um, now I'm just going through his clothes. One of my tips to make your closet look clean and orderly is to color coordinate your clothing and I'm just fine tuning my husband's stuff. And then I'm also, uh, also another tip is to use the same hangers. Like I think it looks so much better when all the hangers are the same. It just makes it look that much cleaner and crisper. So I'm just gonna go through and do my husband's clothes and do my clothes as well. Um, I wind up getting rid of a few items, not his stuff, but of my things. Um, but I go through my clothes pretty frequently. Like I told you guys, I really try to be like a minimalist. Like I don't think I have a lot of clothes, but you guys be the judge. I think I have like a small amount of clothing, but I try to always go through it and just get rid of stuff that I'm not wearing. organizing the shoes and I organize these by color as well and I after this I made my way over to my husband
showing you guys that everything is complete. All the co clothes are color coordinated. There's no extra hangers in there. Um, the bins on the top are clean and organized. And then we're going to make our way over to my husband's side and I'm going to show you that that is all put together as well. This was so satisfying to do and I feel so much better than it's done. my dresser drawers. We have had these IKEA um, organizing systems for probably eight or nine years. So they've held up great, but I'm just going through all of our stuff and just making sure like underwear are with underwear and socks are with socks and then just everything that it's in its place. And my husband, I sort his socks by different types. So I was just doing that. After this, I need to wipe down this whole super duper organized but it's better than it was we have like all my husband's shades here this fun fact this like quarter pack was from when we went to the hospital three years ago to have brookie and um we brought this to use at the vending machines but we never used it um some of my husband's like um, fancy watches are in here and then we just have some like paperwork that he needs to go through um, we also, another fun fact is I actually used to work at the Tilted Kill and I have trading cards and this is like one of them. It's like old and worn, but, and then it has like some silly facts on it about me. But, um, and then our wedding one, we made videos for our wedding for everybody. It's super dusty up here. Don't mind that. I'm going to clean that next, but, um, they are, this is our wedding video, but that one's cracked, but. So that's that drawer. And then this drawer is my side and I have like all of my son's like teeth in separate bags. I have like umbilical cords. You guys know you kept that stuff too. I have like um, the bracelets from when my kids were born and like all of that stuff there. And then just some paperwork here. Um, like early ultrasound pictures, the pamphlet from our honeymoon, just random stuff. This is actually my garter belt from our honeymoon. Um, just like random things in there. Some sunglasses, like extra ones. And then some of my like better jewelry. And then I think these are like the original remakes for the TV. And then... My husband's drawer, so undies. He has like those like cooler socks or like pattern socks. These are like workout undies. 
short socks, and then work socks. And then this is my drawer. I only have like two swimsuits, but underneath here are like the corsets that I wear after I give birth. But actually, I wear these when I work out now. So that's why I still have them. I have two and I put them on sometimes when I work out. I think it helps the tummy area sweat a little bit more and get out some of that bloat. Um, these are socks of mine. This is not my sock. I'm gonna put that in my husband's drawer. Underwear. Um, another fun fact, I don't really wear bras. I wear like sports bras and those are them there. And then, cause you guys know I have um, implants. But um, these are my tights and stockings, mostly tights. And then this is some fun dress up clothes. And then those little like inexpensive gloves because my hands always get, get cold. Um, jeans here and I have room to grow. So this is jeans and shorts. And then we have, and I need to wipe down these drawers. They're like dirty. Um, we have PJs and then workout stuff. So I don't keep a bunch of stuff. I do pretty good. Um, and then I will have a small pile of things to give away. So guys, we are all done and, um, I feel so much better. Like a weight has been lifted off of me. Um, Everything is much better organized and I can't wait till stores and stuff open back up so I can get a little bit, a few more bins to make things just look a little bit crisper and a little bit better. But this is all good for now. It's in much better shape than it was. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I love making organizing content and all of that stuff. Like I said, make sure to go check out the video that I made before this. Oh, okay, go potty. <laughs> Toddler life is like this video. Like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see everybody in my next one. Okay, bye.